when you're doing the field exercises, you get you get an SOI for how to handle it. So I want to let's dig in that topic a little bit. What does that mean? Okay, so SOI is Signal Operating Instructions, and it's something that has gone by the wayside with encryption, with digital encryption. So when SyncGARS came out, uh, you know, before SyncGARS, there was the KY57 Vincent. Um, so it, it's in, digital encryption has been around for quite some time. I mean, literally, I think back to the 19, late 1960s. But that said, most of us use just uh, a broadband radio, some kind of broadband radio. Well, that means the enemy can hear you. Now, for those who say, well, whoa, whoa, there's some techniques. You can, you know, use a directional antenna that'll cut it down to 15, a 15 degree spread. So if you're not inside that 15 degree spread, you can't hear. Or the other way is the umbrella using your ionosphere, like the Henley heavy side layer and turning your directional antennas upward so it cascades down. Here again, people can hear you, but the good news is they can't find you by direction, you know, um, radar direction findings and stuff like this. So, and just for anybody um, who's listening to that one, you just mentioned pointing upwards. It's called NVIS or NVIS. If anybody's trying to go Google, go. how do I do that? Because <laughs> <laughs> well, trust me, I fell down that rabbit hole. So I just want to make sure I put that out there. <laughs> right. So there, there are techniques um, that you can uh, limit who is listening to you, or at least not allow them to find your um, direction of your uh, broadcast station, because there are radio ways to do this. Um, now, having said that, if they're listening to you, you know, this is when you get, you know, John has a short mustache, the chair is against the wall, right? An SOI is, again, signal operating instructions. It sounds rather, you know, esoteric. Um, but what it really means is at some level of randomness, and it needs to be switched out, whether it's switched out every six hours, 12 hours, 24 hours, or heck, once a week, the point is, you have to rotate your SOI so that it makes it harder to break the code. But they are codes. They say what frequencies we use. They say what our call signs are. No, running around being Blackjack 6 and Red Dragon every time, we figure out who that is. So you're not Red Dragon and you're not Blackjack 6. You're Alpha 3-1. And he's, you know, Kilo 9-2. And there's no meaning. There's no meaning there. So these are what's called your call signs. You have, um, like I said, frequencies, and then you have brevity codes. Everything for asking people's situation. Hey, what's your situation? Where are you? Um, how are you doing? What do you need? And they can make requests back and you can answer negative, positive. They can even, because you can, this isn't digitally encrypt, encrypted. This is text you know, encrypted. You can encrypt alphanumeric, so numbers and letters. Inside of there, you can authenticate. If you think someone has broken into your SOI that you don't recognize, you can ask them for authentication. If they don't have that SOI, they'll authenticate wrong. Mm -hmm. And so these are all the different things that an SOI does for you. So this is a conversation we actually had in the Marksman Discord server recently um, about brevity matrices in particular. And um, my background is actually quite a bit involved in this because I'll not sure how far I go down that rabbit hole, but mm -hmm. encoded, encoding, decoding messages was a big topic in, in, in my background. Um, and there was actually a conversation around how, how likely are you to ever like to get to that point where you would need to worry about that? Um, you know, especially if you're having to like rotate it out, how, how, like, how, like if the U S government's coming after you, that's a different situation than, you know, that rowdy crowd who happened to pick up some bow fangs and is listening into your transmissions down the street. But it was an interesting conversation, nonetheless. I don't want to. I don't want to downplay it because I think it's really cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, so a couple of historical re uh, references. First off, will be Somalia and General Adid, who managed to evade all of our high tech listening satellites, drones, you name it. We could not pin that man down because he was using uh, as communication devices um, rubber burning tires human runners and you know uh field phones ancient world war one field phones so he's he's always one step ahead of us and we couldn't nail him down because he used again in tandem very old forms of communication now you have the flip side you have the um the israelis going in and oh what year did they the last year they invade lebanon so Hezbollah is fighting against, in the mountains, there in southern Lebanon, against the Israelis. And they were using GMRS radio. 
but they needed an SOI. And so what they did was they had exhausted their SOIs. They kept getting, you know, used until they were compromised, used until they were compromised. And it came to the point where they would know who they were talking on the other end, right? And so they would say something like, hey, I'll meet you at the place where you proposed to your wife. Now, how the hell would the Israelis know where that is, right? So all of this is encryption. It's all in form, forms of different forms of code. Um, but an SOI is a codified, mm -hmm. <laughs> a little redundant, but it's a codified code. So it's the rules.